it is completely unimaginable. And we're not at the peak yet. This is the front line in a war. Apart from two patients, every patient we're looking after has got COVID. We can't cope with a big spike. We just can't. Every day, some battles are won. It's, it's one of the doctors here. And some are lost. All the patients here are critically ill. We're planning for, for, for many more patients, so all our theatres to be full of COVID patients and possibly beyond. It is, you know, we've, none of us have ever seen anything like this. This used to be a recovery area for patients after surgery. Now, it's an intensive care unit for COVID-19 patients. A huge part of the hospital has been transformed in order to deal with coronavirus. I've been in intensive care nursing for about 23 years now, and I've never seen anything like this. Even the London bombings, I've never seen it in such a short, condensed period of time. Many of the patients here are elderly or have underlying health problems, but not all. I think perhaps I was a bit naive when I, when we started, I, I'd assumed that it would be the older and the sicker. In here, we've got a mixture from people in their 40s to people in their 70s. A lot of them have got high blood pressure and diabetes or a bit of respiratory disease. Um, but some of them are coming through who are, who are young and fit. The patients here have severe pneumonia, inflammation of the lungs. They must be heavily sedated while on a ventilator, a machine which takes over their breathing. Patients can spend two weeks like this. Many drugs are being tested, but there is, as yet, no proven treatment for coronavirus. So it's oxygen and... And, and organ support and amazing nursing care, really. One thing that does help is turning the patients onto their front. It increases the oxygen getting into their lungs. What seems like a simple procedure takes time and lots of pairs of hands. Okay, everyone all right? Yep. Ready, steady, 90. With ventilated patients, extreme care is needed. All of this while staff wear full personal protective equipment. Well done, that's great. Okay, can we just check that he's ventilated? Their only barrier against coronavirus. Every time a doctor or a nurse goes onto the unit, they must don full safety gear. You can't wear this and work for more than a couple of hours because you've got a crashing headache, you, you know, you've got a dry mouth, you have to, to get out. Staff write their names on their aprons so they can be quickly identified. So there's an emergency on the ITU. Um, the head of critical care was seeing via walkie-talkie whether he could give a second opinion. Yeah, do you want to stop and don and come in? But he needs to be there, so the full kit has to be put on. They use walkie-talkies because their visors mean they can't communicate on phones. It is draining, physically and mentally. It's really hard, and some of our staff really can't cope with it. You know, we've got huge number of nurses, doctors and physios and not all of them can deal with it so they can only spend a short time or not just any time. Um, it's not uncommon for some of our staff to have had panic attacks and just finding this so, so stressful. So we, you, we've got to really support people. Some people just can't do it. Despite the possible risk to themselves, the medical staff carry on. 12-hour shifts, 60 hours a week are the norm. They worry about the patients, about each other, and about those they love. I think it's very hard on uh, our families. Uh, my kids are at home, my wife's homeschooling. It's easy in a way for me, I'm doing my job, I'm busy all day. They don't really know what, you know, what it's like here, what, what, whether we're bringing home uh, the virus, and they've just been amazing. Just let me do what I need to do, and I'm just incredibly grateful to them. What is striking here is the sense of calm. In the face of adversity, doctors and nurses simply get on with the job. The staff here are dealing with the biggest challenge ever faced by the NHS. They can save many of the patients, but sadly, not all of them. And still, more patients keep coming every day. 
and no one is sure how long this will last. For now, they can cope, but that depends on all of us playing our part. What is your message to people watching or listening to this? If people don't stay at home and they sneak out, this is going to continue to happen and our staff are going to be exposed for longer. We're not going to have the equipment to do the best that we can by everybody who needs it. We do need to flatten that curve and it, it, it's so serious um, and I just wish people would really, really listen to what the government and we are saying. It is harrowing to see the devastation caused by coronavirus and humbling to witness the resilience of nurses and doctors, the heroes of this crisis.